Hello, this is Chief Robert Frederick of the Palmer Police Department, and I'm here with our friends from Impact with another episode in our chronology of the construction of the Palmer Police Station. Today is a monumental day for us. Today is the first day that we are actually operational in our new building. We had our open house in early May, uh, and we showcased the building to our residents, and we had a great turnout for that. Um, we, had, we estimated between six and, hundred, six and 700 people that came up on that day to, uh, to take a look at our new building. And uh, since the open house, we've been working very uh, diligently to move everything over from the old building into the new. And uh, today we get to, uh, uh, to see the fruits of our labor. Uh, we, we started early this morning. All of our technology vendors were here, the people from State 911, our IT vendors, our radio vendors, um, our telephone vendors and a host of other people were here to move all the equipment from the old building to the new and activate the new equipment that we purchased in the building over here. So it's just about 4 p.m. Uh, and again, today is uh, June 5th, 2014. And uh, in just about an hour or so, we should be fully functional in our new building, uh, which is a historic moment for the people in the town of Palmer and for the Palmer Police Department. So uh, again, our vendors have been working very hard. Our staff has been working extraordinarily hard and they deserve all the credit to uh, getting this building up and running. Probably the most uh, critical piece of this whole move was that we needed to keep the 911 service up and functioning. So uh, the folks from State 911 have a uh, uh, transition plans in place. Uh, it's set up even under normal circumstances that every town um, uh, such as Palmer, we run what they call a public safety answering point. And every town has a backup answering point or an alternate point they call it. And for us, it's the town of Munson. So. Um, it happens infrequently, but uh, every once in a while there, there's a hardware malfunction or there's a need for a hardware upgrade. So either Munson or Palmer will have to shut down their 911 equipment. And when that happens, uh, each community will take the, the other community's 911 calls. And we work very well together with the town of Munson. As a matter of fact, today we sent one of our dispatchers to Munson to answer some of the 911 calls that were coming in. Uh, and, and we sent that for a couple of reasons. First of all, to take care of the call volume, the increase in volume, because all of our 911 calls were going there in addition to their own. But also we wanted someone from Palmer to be there uh, should someone from Palmer call, and they would have, then our dispatcher would have the local knowledge of, uh, of anything that they're, that they're, any service that they requested. So that, that was helpful too. So, and the same thing is going to happen. The folks in Munson are building a new town hall in the police station, and, and they're going to be, around October or November, going through the same thing that we did here today. So I have every expectation that a dispatcher from Munson will be here on that day uh, to make sure that the 911 calls from the residents of the town of Munson will be answered appropriately. Um, well, today we did make the move over from the old station to the new station. Uh, it's been very hectic with several different agencies here. Um, we worked hard, all combined, trying to make it as quick and easy as we could. Uh, we're still finishing up the process right now. Have a couple more agencies just finishing up there parts of the transition, but we should be done shortly and fully functional. It's much nicer being in these kind of working conditions than what we were in, and uh, it, it helps be more organized and just perform better as dispatchers and police personnel. Basically, if you see anything suspicious or that's just out of the ordinary, give us a call. We'll have somebody check it out. You know, it's what we're here for, and we're here to protect and serve. I certainly want to uh give a great deal of, uh, of credit to the folks at Impact, um, uh, Bruce Hendricks and Ryan Shepard and, and Darcy Fortune for uh, being so easy to work with and, and uh, allowing to us, us to capture and create a bit of history for the Palmer Police Department in terms of the, of the, uh, the videotaping that they've done, the episodes that they've created. So it's something that uh, we look forward to watching years down the road uh, when this is just a fond memory to, uh, to be able to reflect on what happened. So we're certainly grateful to them for, for what they did for us and we're also grateful and I mentioned it during the open house that they, uh, they uh, were able to procure uh, television sets for the, for the police department over here. We have nine high definition uh, smart televisions that, was do that were donated by, by Impact and uh, they saved the town of Palmer about $11,000 by so doing. So we want to thank them for that as well.